In this video, I'll show you how to create this sound with Addictive Keys in FL Studio. Also, please subscribe if you feel like this tutorial helped you out, because I will be creating more of these to hopefully let you in on some neat tricks in the file. You can also leave a like to help this information spread out to other producers. Hey everyone, it's The Static. Basically, today I'll show you how to properly record your digital piano through the Addictive Keys plugin in FL, because it's kind of a big problem. Uh, Excellent didn't care enough to make good integration with FL, only the other does, so in FL we have to find workarounds to this. You see, the problem with the addictive keys is that when you try to play with the pedal, it doesn't work. Uh, I mean, you can turn this check on. You go in the MIDI settings, you press this, foot pedal control is not off, and it'll turn on the FL's automatic interpretation of the pedal. It still won't affect the pedal in here, but it will sustain your notes like so. Yeah, so you see these bunch of note halves in the hint bar right here, but the notes are still playing. That's what this check does. Now, if I turn it off, um, I still I'm not going to see the pedal being interacted. You could do this through the MIDI ports. Like, you could set up a port here, you could set up a port here, um, and you'll have the pedals work fine. Uh, but this is going to create a lot of unnecessary problems. First off, you're going to be coarse in the sound. You see, uh, like, you might hear the coarse in effect in there. We have the coarse off, by the way. Uh, it's because it's taking the general MIDI signal and the signal from the board. So if you press a different instrument, it'll still play the addictive keys, but it'll also play in the different instrument you're choosing. For instance, I have an empty sampler, so that might break the chorus effect. But that's just really not comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to firstly unlink this. I'm going to go to control surface. I'm going to load up one right here. It can be on any channel. It can even be your master. You could, for the sake of consistency, put it on your channel where your addictive keys is. But I just put it on the master. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be controlling the pedal, not anything related to the audio or mixing. Yeah, so let's clear up this pattern. What we'll see is that we have a blank control surface. Now we want to make a knob right here. I'll choose Cool Chrome, why not? Um, make it a little bigger because I like them big and thick. Um, exit the editor mode and I can now drag this knob. Now I have to link it to the actual pedal that I'm pressing. So the right pedal is Control 64, it's MIDI CC 64. Yeah, the middle pedal is 65 and the left one is 66. You can link these two if you want. I'm just gonna be linking the right pedal just to show it. And since I have port two selected in my MIDI settings for the keyboard, I'll select port two right here as well. So yeah, I'm pressing accept. And now when I press the pedal, this knob is going all the way up. Uh, I also have like a dynamic pedal, so it has different variations of how you press it. So it's not like just on and off like that. It can have levels. So the other thing we want to do is we want to link the control surface knob. Let me just close a bunch of this stuff. We want to link this knob to this pedal right here. So that's how we do it. You see the pedal knob is only controlled by MIDI CC and it's not controlled by any FL control. So you can go here, you can go in tools last week, and it isn't going to pop up. You see the knob 6 is still the last thing here. We want to link that to that. And how we're going to do it is we're going to the settings here, and we're punching this triangle here. Uh, going to browse parameters, scroll down until we find MIDI CC64. Again, it's the same for 65 the middle pedal and 66 the left pedal. 
uh, we're going to link it to the knob. We're going to basically right click it, press link to controller. Then we're going to go to internal controller and we're going to go with surface knob six. Now we could have linked it like through the MIDI controller as well. Uh, press the pedal here, but it's not going to record an automation in FL. So basically what I'm going for is that we're going to have both the automation for the pedal and the notes. So that's how we're going to record our piano. We're going to have an automation for the pedal right here, which is going to be controlled by this knob. It's basically going to be an automation of this knob because you can automate this parameter. So dictive keys, let's hook it up into some mixer channel. Um, and prepare for recording. Now we want to make sure we have a pattern selected. We have addictive keys selected. Um, press right click on this recording filter. Uh, make sure that the automation and notes checks are on because we're going to be recording the automation for the snap and the notes. And let's record some stuff with the pedal. Okay, so this is our pattern. You see that none of the notes are actually sustained. We have all the notes nice and clean, and if we want to, for some reason, put the pedal off, we can do that. But first of all, we should convert this into an actual automation. So you see this? This is like, it counts as an automation, but it's within the pattern. It's within the event editor, which is an outdated way of automating things in the file. So we're gonna do it the following way. We're gonna take it out and turn it into automation clip. To do that, we right click the knob, press edit events. We find this automation here. Uh, we go to settings, edit, and turn into automation clip. Now, this window might be a little bit confusing. It's just uh, a threshold of how many points you're gonna have in the endpoint automation. I just set it the farthest to the right because you're gonna have less points that way. You don't need a lot of points. It's gonna be harder to work with all of these. And basically, yeah, you click accept and you have your cool and good automation. It's all ready to go. Now, the other thing you might wanna do is to decimate it even more, like not decimate it, might wanna smooth it up instead. I mean, there's pretty much not a lot of points already, but you might just wanna do these extra steps. So you go to, you click this uh, automation icon right here in the top left corner of the clip, you go to articulator tools, um, you press smooth up. Yeah, and it basically smooths up all of these abrupt changes that were recorded with more precision. Now, you might've just ruined your automation, but that's fine. Yeah, so here you have your clip. Wait, no, turn the recording off. It's, it's controlled the right way through this knob. So yeah, basically this knob controls the pedal here and it's automated by this. Everything is good. Now, if you wanna play without the pedal, you can just uh, muted, uh, not, not a pattern, hold on, wait, it's now, yeah, that's without a pedal, like this is just held down all the time, but congratulations, you just learned how to record within this monstrosity, within this monstrosity, because it's terrible integration is making up for all these problems. And here on the static channel, we find more workarounds to problems like this. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, bye.